I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this episode, I'm gonna give you three different ideas for St. Patrick's Day art projects that you can do in your classroom. Let's make some art. that you can do if you want to do um, a cross-curricular St. Patrick's theme uh, artwork for your classroom. So this is a craft and write, but it is more of an art inspired craft. So there are art elements, even though it's a craft, it has art elements integrated into it. Uh, kids are exploring, um, creating uh, patterns within the artwork to create their design and then they're using mixed media processes to finish it. So they're applying, they're drawing and painting skills to it, even though it's a craft. So you can create a St. Patrick's Day shamrock, a super cute one, and then you can even make them a pick a pattern template where they pick different patterns to choose from, um, or you can grab this pre-made design um, where they pick a pattern and then they can go ahead and decorate their shamrock with different lines and patterns and then paint over it. So I did this one, um, I made this little guy and then I used my wax crayons to draw my lines and patterns and they painted over top of it with my watercolor paints to create a wax resist effect. Now this craft and write is actually available as a complete kit, a tutorial with all the templates for picking different um, shamrock elements and shamrock parts um, to the pick a pattern page and also includes all of your artist statements, rubrics, reflections, all of your nonfiction and fiction planning pages and prompts for various writing levels, so different writing paper types. Um, and these are all available in my St. Patrick's Day Craft and Write Art Activity and you can find the link to the description of the in the description of this video to this one. Alright, so that's the first one is to do a craft and write with your students. Or if you want one that's pre-made, ready to go, you just grab, click, grab it, and go. Just find this one in the description of this video. Alright, number two idea is to do an art and write. So instead of a craft and write, students can create an artwork um, themed around St. Patrick's Day and then create a writing inspired by their artwork. So again, it's that cross-curricular connection, they're making art, and then they're also going to write. So you're hitting multiple um, curricular content pieces or curricular uh, targets. So for example, um, they can, I, I like to always make like a little quick reference sheet so they can pick different styles. We're going to do a leprechaun for this art idea. So this is art and write. I did a leprechaun. This is oil pastel and watercolor paint. So I did some drawing and coloring with the oil pastels and I painted over top with watercolor paint to do some mixed media processes and oil pastels are really good at resisting paint. And then I have a lovely um, just quick pick sheet where they can pick from different styles of hats, pick from different styles of eyes, pick from different styles of mouths to draw and make it their own and make it unique. So they're not without ideas but they might be inclined to try something new or something different um, and then have an idea, but make it their own combination or unique style. And at the end, they'll have their own artwork that they created from scratch. And then after that, they're going to create a writing inspired by their artwork. So you can either provide writing prompts that they can choose from. Um, it could be nonfiction or it could be a fiction writing piece where they can write about their artwork. I think that is a really great way to get kids excited about um, not only art making, um, but also be excited about writing, which is really a uh, great thing to have as well. And again, you're creating lots of different curricular targets. If you would like this complete set, it comes with all your rubrics, your templates, um, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create, um, and all of your writing prompt pages for both nonfiction and fiction. You can grab that um, in this resource in the description of my video, which is my St. Patrick's Day Art and Write. All right, the next one and final idea is to do a shamrock painting a shamrock painting. So this is an oil pastel and tempura painting of a shamrock. So I 
drew with my oil pastels first and colored in some elements that are too hard to paint such as my eyes and these swirls in the background with some oil pastel and then I used tempera paint to paint on top of it. Often I use watercolor paints but sometimes it's great to switch it up and try tempera paint. Tempera paint can be sometimes fun to use and sometimes it's a bit of a challenge just because of its kind of sticky and very translucent <laughs> in nature. Um, so this one's a great way to make it look really effective and then kids have a super fun shamrock to uh, have. And of course it takes up a lot of space, it's nice bright colors, there's a lot of emphasis placed on the shamrock because it's very different from the background. It's a nice focal point of the design and this is just oil pastel and temper paint which are really easy to come by in a classroom and are of low cost. Or if you want this full art project tutorial with all the steps included on how to make this, all your artist statements, all your worksheets, reflection pages, um, your sign for displaying, all of that and the lesson plan included, you can grab this art tutorial in the description. The link to it will be in the description below of the in this video. Um, this is the St. Patrick's Day Shamrock art tutorial and you can grab it now and then you'll be fully planned and ready to go for St. Patrick's Day. All right, my friend, that is, those are three different ideas that you can do in your classroom for St. Patrick's Day. You can do a craft and write with your students themed around St. Patrick's Day. You can do an art and write themed around St. Patrick's Day. Or you can make a shamrock artwork, a super cute shamrock using oil pastels and temper paint. And again, you can come up with these yourself. Or if you want to do some quick planning, you can grab those tutorials fully prepped in the description below this video. I have a question for you that I would love to hear in the comments section below in the video. Um, what St. Patrick's Day activities do you like to do in your classroom? It could be for any subject or anything. So what St. Patrick's Day activities do you like to do in your classroom? You can answer in the comment section below the video and then we can take a look at all the different responses. I will re personally respond to you and we'll have a nice lovely collection of different teacher ideas to pull from and be inspired by. Um, so make sure you take a look at the comment section to see all the different ideas that people have come up with so that way you can make St. Patrick's Day super in your classroom this year. All right, that's it for this episode. The next video that you're going to watch is five art mediums that every classroom needs. All right, so make sure you check out that video by clicking the link above or in the description of this video and I will see you in that episode.